Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and Quilty Box has come in the mail and there's a lot of fun things in it. I have a needle threader and pins, a finger presser, all sorts of little things and a new blade which I'm in need of. But the most exciting part of course is fabric. So I have a quick and easy pattern to use these fabrics with. So I have two small bundles of the five inch pre-cuts. There's 14 pieces in each stack, so I need 28. And to match up with them, I just did a white on white with a little polka dot, and I'm going to need 24 five inch squares. I'm gonna put a border on it that's going to match the size of the squares five inches. Just to kick it up a notch, I am going to put this nice bright red as a binding and the first border. So 24 of these squares are going to be used for the body of the quilt. Four are going to be cornerstones. So take your four favorite ones out and put them aside. So the first thing we're going to do is sew them together. So take one from your stack, one from your solid, and sew them together and do the entire stack so you are going to end up with 24 units. And when you have all your two units sewn together, you need to sew two to two more so that you have a strip of six squares. And do this eight times so you will have eight strips. Now you have eight of these long strips and you need to sew them together, one white and one colored at each end. All the blocks are together and this is going to be the center of the quilt. The next is to add a small border and you can choose any color that is in the quilt. I've chosen red, I've cut it two inches and I'm going to put this two inch border all the way around the quilt. So the next border we're going to put on is a five inch wide border because it's going to match the five inch squares that we kept aside from the stack. And to get the measurements, you will need to measure the length right from the edge all the way down the center. And that measurement is going to be for the two sides. The second measurement will be the measurement for the top and you will measure from one side right over to the other side. So you will pre-cut both sides and the top and bottom. The first border you're going to sew on are the two sides left and right. And for the top and bottom border, you're gonna take the border you've already cut and you will sew one five inch block on each end. So now when you sew on the last border, the cornerstones will fit right into the corner. So sew on the top and the bottom. And once the last two borders are put on, you can call the quilt done. However, because this is made with a lot of polka dots, I want to add a couple of more polka dots. So I've just made some circles and I am going to applique the circles somewhere on the quilt. And at this point, they can go anywhere at all. They can go along the border or you can have them cascading inside. And to get the shape of my dots, all I did was get a couple of bowls that varied in sizes and I've cut out my dots. Guess you can say I've gone a little dot crazy. It's a quick and easy project to make. It is all squares with a couple of borders and it depends on what you're going to put on it. You could put butterflies and flowers, anything you could put on it just to, well, kick it up a notch. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.